In a world full of pretentious things, never has there been enough emphasis on authenticity. Now I say this because in our market, every other car wants to be a true lifestyle enabler. But then look what we have with us today, the Toyota Hilux. Now this thing works just as advertised on the box, which means it is a true 4x4 lifestyle enabler. Which means this can leave a mark on planet Earth and also on your heart and soul. Welcome to the Hilux Himalayan Drive, where we get a chance to drive the world's most desirable 4x4 over a course of 1600 kilometers and surfaces varying from the wide and smooth pathways of Chandigarh to the cliffhangers and winter extremities of Spiti. Since 1968, Toyota has shifted more than 18 million of these pickup trucks to everyone, from a farmer to a freedom fighter. And now, it's a Dakar Rally winner too. Not hard to believe because, irrespective of the surface that we were driving on, the Hilux felt shatterproof. Our journey up north has brought us to Tabo. Now as you can see the terrain, it's changed. There's hardly any vegetation here. Also, in the Tibetan year of the Fire Ape is when the Tabo Ministry was formed. But what you see today was rebuilt in 1975 after an earthquake. The time to do it is right now. If it ain't serving us, we let it go. As long as we know, they'll never know. Visiting a monastery is always blissful for the soul. But the customers here, they're not looking for bliss. They're looking for adventure and that is why we all, in a convoy, are heading to a riverbed. Well, there's some adventure awaiting us there. I'll see you there. Drive in H2 first. If the vehicle struggles, change to H4. If it still struggles, change to L4. The surface that I'm driving on currently is loose gravel that you would find uh, next to a riverbed. Be very gentle with the throttle. Don't over rev the vehicle because if you're over revving the vehicle, it'll dig itself in. All right, guys, time to cross the river. Now, this isn't really the river. River, it's a shallow setting. You can switch the traction control off in H2 keep the auto LSD on. With traction control off and auto LSD on, it won't cut power to that wheel. It'll just apply brakes to that wheel and transfer the rest of the power to the other wheel. It's a Toyota. It never dies on you. It's reliable, trustworthy. It's pure joy. You know, this is pure, unadulterated exhilaration. Easy, you know? There's nothing that bothers the car. The SUV! Ah! A Toyota is a Toyota, so I think this terrain is simply baby steps. It's capable of far more than what we are seeing right here. Every time I come here, it's a different car than the Hilux, and these vehicles, they suffer in terms of uh, the engine performance, obviously because of the lack of oxygen. But with the Hilux, it hardly makes a difference. I can feel that the turbo is liking the cool air, the cool atmosphere. That is why a lot of people around the world prefer using the Hilux in extreme conditions where there are no mechanics for thousands and thousands of kilometers. And that is the kind of terrain that we are on today. I think you can see the snow-capped mountains behind. The view from here is just pristine. It's beautiful to be behind the wheel of the Hilux and experience this. Wow, the climb up to the Dhankar Monastery is just intense. No shooting equipments allowed inside this fort on the cliff, but if you climb up here, you're greeted by spectacular views overlooking the confluence of Spiti and Pin Rivers. It's truly transcendent.
<sighs> it's not me running out of breath, but in fact me soaking in the cleanest air of India. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chitkul. I can't believe it, I'm doing it on highway terrain tires. These are not even ATs or MTs. You get it? Okay, well that's the kind of mechanical grip that the Hilux has to offer. It's just unbelievable. Ah. Oh. Spiti, it's a tourism wonderland, but very few of us know that it also boasts of an engineering masterpiece. What you see behind me, ladies and gentlemen, is Asia's highest bridge. It took them 15 years to construct the Chicham Bridge, and it's constructed at 13,000 feet where even breathing gets difficult. helps cut down the distance between two villages by 40 kilometers, which is quite significant, especially in this part of the world. And it's freezing and snowing. We are led to believe that if a car is supposed to sell by the dozen, it has to appeal to everyone and offend no one. That's why, in the real world, it's an epidemic of boring. If you want a product that people lust after, you go the other way. You create a masterpiece. You create a Hilux. Every time that you drive up here, it feels like conquering the top of the world. And what an emotion that is. So that is the exact feeling that the convoy is driving down with, with a lot more confidence. Confidence that is boosted by the drivers understanding the machine a lot more. The machine being the Hilux. Indestructible. The experience has been extremely thrilling. It seems that our life is a big thing. They are very pampered, traditional. पर हमसे अच्छी गाड़ी वो चला लेती है और हाइलेक्स को भी वैसे ही कमांड से चलाती हैं जैसे कि वो घर को चलाती हैं। From my point of view, everything that I know about off-roading, I have only learned in the last one week. It's a very intelligent vehicle, especially the gearbox. It actually senses the way you are driving and it picks up cues. It's very very impressive. Eight days ago, we all came together as a bunch of strangers. And the finest and the nicest thing is that today we're leaving as friends. My experience? Well, getting to drive the world's favorite 4x4 and doing so in terrain that it's built to ace. And also sharing the experience with other Hilux owners who have such beautiful stories associated with their vehicles. Truth be told, it's a realization of a childhood dream. <laughs> 